This is the Anchor Make 3D printer. I agreed to a sponsorship talking about its features because I thought of a really cool project to make with it. Okay, jumping back to the beginning. This was by far the easiest printer setup that I have ever experienced. I went back and checked the videos that I shot and it took exactly 20 minutes from the time I opened the box to having it fully put together, which is really fast. Uh, and then it went through its 49 point auto leveling process to make sure everything was good. There was nothing manual in this, it just did it itself. Then I brought my STL files into their slicer program. I was nervous about this because I'm really used to Cura and once I'm used to a software it just there's like a high switching cost in my mind but I thought their program was really quite intuitive and I liked it better than Cura in a few aspects. The printer software was really designed, everything was designed with the expectation that you initiate prints through your network, you don't use SD cards. So they made that really easy and I'm definitely going to be doing it that way from now on. And then I was printing and monitoring things through the phone app or the computer with the built-in camera. Didn't have to go down to the shop to make sure everything was good, so that was pretty cool. And this printer is crazy fast. Its travel speed is 500 millimeters per second, 250 while printing. What that means practically is that it can outprint all three of my previous printers together. And it has smart features like an AI that tells you if you have gone to a spaghetti ball and it shuts it down for you or if you try to start a print without removing the previous print from the bed it just errors out and doesn't damage anything I did that once uh, and the bed release worked quite well it just was a really good experience and I flew through printing quite a lot of large pieces okay this is not sped up it's on a pretty wobbly table it doesn't seem to be causing it any trouble yet Okay, just wrapped up the largest print in the build. I'll try to remove it with the phone in one hand. That's the router base. Definitely pushing the limit on the size. Let's talk about the actual thing I'm printing, which is a panograph router. From Wikipedia, a panograph is a mechanical linkage connected in a manner based on parallelograms so that the movement of one pen in tracing an image produces an identical movement in a second pen. Obviously, this is not pens, it's routers and followers, but the same principle applies. Panographs have been around since the 1600s. Many different kinds have been made, and many panograph routers have been made, some by people in our maker community. You can link your favorite video in the comments below. But I think that I am the first person to 3D print one. Counterexamples are welcome, but I've never seen one. 3D printing is a reasonable, good way to build a panograph. The precision of the anchor make came in handy. 0.1 millimeter resolution is good because you want those linkages in the exact right position so that the image translates the way it's supposed to. But I was really excited about the potential for 3D printed panograph templates. Usually panographs have you carefully following a 2D drawing with a point, but with a 3D template, you can actually follow an edge with a follower that's twice the diameter of the bit, which is of course a lot more precise and less tedious to do. You just make sure it's pressed against the edge as you're going around and everything works out. And at the same time, a template can have both a positive and negative form. So I can use one to cut the recess 
for an inlay and the other to cut the inlay itself and it all fits really well. I have to say that I'm really glad I live in an era where I can 3D print concepts that I have. This one probably will never turn into a product but there have been many times when I've had a concept and I've just wanted to try it out and 3D printing is by far the fastest way to just make it a reality. That's a big part of how I got my job at MagSwitch actually. I envisioned a lot of the ideas that I've launched in the last four years, 3D printed them and showed them to the team and got the job that I currently have. So I appreciate that opportunity and it's really fun being able to show off what I can confidently say is a really great 3D printer. Okay, pause. What you're seeing is my very first attempt and as such, it's pretty good. But I think I could reduce some of the small gaps around the edges if I had gone counterclockwise instead of clockwise. Clockwise meant that the bit was trying to pull itself outside the line, which it was able to do just a little bit. If I'd gone counterclockwise, then it would have been pulling in and then I could have done a second pass to clean up the edge and I think it would have been spot on. But if I hadn't mentioned that, you probably wouldn't have noticed because I sanded and finished and the sawdust just filled in the gap, the finish glued it in place and it's nearly invisible. I hope you thought this was pretty cool. Check out the description for the Anchor Make printer details, which I can confidently recommend. Thanks for watching. Something I wanted to point out. Uh, 3D prints are weakest kind of layer to layer, and these little nubs that fit into the bearings at the joints, those take a fair amount of stress. So I was worried about them cracking off, so I just planned for a screw to go through and strengthen it so there is one joint I just gotta put screws through this I'm gonna use glue